Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues in which we are playing as Kai's Oz Legion and we must talk about Dowsing the Phoenix but did you know the capital of the Sleepers Nation is Bomb Station 002? I didn't know that but anyways we have to talk about Dowsing the Phoenix. I believe we read this yesterday but I asked you guys quite a few questions especially in regards to who should get a little bit of glory and which way we should go. I asked you which one of these four should get glory but you guys came up with the fifth answer too which I thought was kind of interesting so I asked you whether the Malpai Slugget, Centurion Aurelius, Praetorian Lucius, or Frumentaris Vulpus should earn glory and which way we should really go down their route uh, let's see I'll say first that Lucius got the least support followed by Aurelius the group or the person that got the most support out of everything out of all your comments at the time of this recording which I pretty much saved this recording for last in the day, was Malpius Leggett. He won, he won with a little bit more support than Volpus, who was second, who was tied for second actually, because some of you guys actually want me to get Joshua Graham as a leader of the Legion. I'm not sure if that's possible, maybe we'll see, maybe it'll be cool, but we have chosen Malpius Leggett as the way to go. And the Luggett says, oh, is this a Mal Malpais Luggett, who proposes just crucifying one in every hundred citizens of Phoenix as an example. Not that one, not this one. Not a cunning plot, because the cunning plot is Aurelius. Go and exterminate those sinful Phoenicians. And the people have spoken. Oh, and the followers of the Apocalypse, I don't think this has changed really at all. Uh, which is that sound. Cool. And if you want to read this, go right ahead. This happens pretty much every campaign, like I normally say. Ooh, actually, hmm. Would it be best to keep these anarchists from our lands? Discourage. Actually, do it. Hmm. I'm I want to look at the focus tree real quick. Is there anything new with them? Maybe. A poc oh, actually, let's go with followers. Let's see. Petition of the followers. Followers influence. Oh, that's under Lucius prevails. Or cycle tab. Or this one. Petition the followers. So it doesn't look like we really get them. It would be best to keep these anarchists from our lands. Take decisions against the followers of the apocalypse to try to keep them from settling in our lands. We need to suitably discourage the followers of the apocalypse and from settling in our lands by taking decisions to annoy them. It would be impossible to uproot them. I don't think it makes sense for them to be here. Oh, but we don't want you. They might be good to, for health. You know what? I want to try this. Let's get some hostile decisions and get rid of them. Normally, I'd never take that path. But, you know, that's okay. Raid the supplies, lose manpower. Cool. And then seize a follower's fort. We lose more manpower. Cool. Let's do both. And get them out of here. We don't want them here. No. Get out of our lands. Don't take our jobs. Our gerbs. Tool procurement. Cool. Even though I know they don't take our jobs, but whatever. Let's see what happens. Two weeks. Cool. And I did ask you guys yesterday as well. With this whole Legion th thing. Whether we should do both of the triplex... Axes and the Unending Legion, or Rebirth of the Principes Doctrine, and Ever Evolving, which we'll get to once we get to that part of the focus tree. Oh, I'm going to save that for a little later. Oh boy. Now let's see. Troll Warner, Clear Warner, Caucus Walkers. Right now we're just kind of getting trying to get through our focus tree real quick, a little bit, and develop our armies and stuff like that to see what happens. Let's see, Lanius's cohort. Oh, let's close that out. Thank you. Nice flag, Lanius. He's got a tr he's a tribal nation. We have the cult of Mars, or he has it. Rejection of automation like us and a mustering cohort. They get weekly manpower because we lose weekly manpower to give it to them. Loot from the east. So it's a it's an okay trade, I suppose. It's only seven every week, in which we get 59 every month. So that kind of makes up for it. Now let's go get some payload gliders because that ground attack, too nice, too nice to pass up. And gliders are just good. Period. So. Okay, get that, get that. Centurion Pollux falls ill, so be it. Begin a scavenging program, we'll probably do that. I would like to do some stuff down here, though. Manager subjects, I'm not going to worry, be worried about that at all. The missile labs. Air technology bonus, ooh, get more autonomy for them. But legionaries on loan. Aurelius gains some glory. Ooh, max volunteer force, plus four divisions. Our amigos to the north. We do want to conquer these guys as fast as possible, so... Let's see what happens, because we can do the window to the sea, because we need to own those places and core those places. So, the Frumentarius investigation. Ever since we opened a trade deal with Genta del Sol, we've seen more of our men drinking and smoking. Where where are they getting these decadent vices? They can't have these. Expedition to salt upon wounds. 
They need, they need to do a new god for Utah. Blue Rose Society is good. Good job, Lanius. Good job. Shale's army declared war on carbon. Actually, guys, actually quite a few comments in the last video, which I do want to get to since we are a little bit down in terms of what we're doing. Ooh, we could get some of that. Divert supplies, a stability. Placate the followers. Improve relations with them. Obtain a small portion of stockpiles allowing them to be used by our army. Through bribes and threats. Well, this one sounds like we threaten them, bribe them, so we'll do that one, since we don't want them here. Oh, launch a slave. Oh. Can we launch another slave raid against these guys? Oh, let's... South Phoenix. Oh, oh. Hmm. Wow. Phoenix. We do not... Has no matching neighbor state in which a border war could be started. South Phoenix, huh? Oh, the cowboy country. Horn Peak. Where's Horn Peak? Center of the map on Horn Peak. Oh, actually, the ranchers might not be bad. Where's Blue Feather? Blue Feather is right here. Oh. So maybe we'll do Horn Peak. Why not? I mean, we have to justify. I'm just going to move all these guys over here just in case first. Stop training. Get some divisions. Throw them wherever you... Oh, actually, you know, you throw them right there. And we will begin a border war soon once we get our divisions down there. And they have enough XP. Or organization, really. Ooh, you guys. You are commandos division. They're... Mm. Are special forces considered infantry? I don't think they are. I could be wrong. If we do this, we get nimble leader, more speed, less of division attack and defense. Yeah, it's not really good. Ooh, recon. We could probably use that eventually. Let's save this for later, though. Construction basics are great. Let's go ahead and get some more. Because we want to build, 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 build. Cool, you guys are good to go. The followers rejected. Having worked out what we have been behind successive attempts to undermine their influence and steal the supplies, the followers of the Apocalypse have finally grown tired of our antics and left our lands. Whilst they're still happy to send or tend to our civilians and bases set up around the border, they refuse to step inside our nation in protest. We say good riddance. Their anarchists kind of have no business here except for attempting to overthrow us. Our people are somewhat annoyed at our choice of action, but at least they'll no longer be swayed by the followers' propaganda. So we lose stability, get some more support, get more... Oh, look at that! Weekly war support plus 1%? Nice. Even though, actually, that's just because we rejected them. So they were lowering our war support, which is never good. Oh, man. Oh, where was the slave thing? Oh, it's all the way up here. That's right. Oh. Slaves to the cause. Deploy 1,000 slaves and 60% of slaves will return. Send slaves to workshops. Wait. Ooh. Wait, what happened to the... Hmm. Enslaved, conquered. Ooh. Lose manpower, get more slaves. Well, oh, well, whatever. I'm going to go back over here. Because we do want to take out these guys, too, so. It doesn't really matter to me. Lucius. I don't know. We have a... Th yeah, like I said yesterday, I wish we could see this a little more easily. 2,400 slaves. The Eyes of Kaiser, Generalissimo of Viala, cooperated in our investigation. And Volpus has demonstrated how foolish our concerns were. No, El Generalissimo may be a prolificate. Prolificate. But he is our prolificate. Look at and Volpus gains glory. So we'll do the best we can. I didn't realize he'd get glory, but whatever. Uh, the Frumentarius vacations. Frumentari can learn much from some time in Gento del Sol, although El Generalissimo is odd. The way he controls his population may be worth studying for our own use. That'd be very good. For his own use. Yeah, let's see, we have well equipped army, which is nice. Cultural policies, organized slavery, which is pretty good. More tactician. I kind of like that, but nah. The priests of two sons. Lily Blair, huh? Hides his teeth. Spiel demon. Speed demon, not spiel demon. If that's the case, let's go ahead and grab the military theorist. Ooh, we have two military theorists. Asymmetric warfare? Yeah, that's probably the best way to go. Let's go with that guy. Old country. Rot purgers. That is... That's gotta be new. Yeah, what the heck? You are new. Jacobia the Wrathful. NCR declared war on the rapids. That's fine. Actually, that's kind of interesting. You don't have unique focusry, which is fine. And Lucius is on the patrol, political reorganization, another generic focus tree, that's okay. Now, the NCR is at war. Promote Latifundia. I'll get more stuff there. Does that mean we can do stuff? War by other means. The bear is going to choke on his conquest. Now, I, they're at war with the rapids, so... I was hoping that maybe we could do something to help out the rapids? Maybe not? Get more cap, perhaps? Let's grab some more organized agriculture first, though. Can I send you volunteers, actually? I cannot. We need more world tension led by... Oh my goodness. Shayna Welby. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I think that... Ooh. Malpais, look at it, has earned some glory. Aurelius is glorious. Lucius has earned a little glory. 
and Volpus is glorious for now. Welcome to Silversmiths. That would be good. Code talkers, more encryption, the missile labs, of course, the chariot of two sons. Force two sons to adopt the denarius. More stability, less caps income. More, less caps expenses, though. Less passive caps income. Gain money, lose money. Oh, that's for them, too. So, subsidize Navajo, trade with a reservation. Daily pickle power, get some goods. Cool, it's not bad. Navajo warrior sounds really cool. Mm, I do want more stability, though. Sounds like the workshops. Exclave more subjects. I kind of really want that one. Mm, construct bunkers to get a... Where is this place? It's up here. So we can build stuff in there, but I'm not really sure why. You know what? Let's try it. Build a civilian workshop. We have like 2,450 slaves. And that's also... I could spend this political power on other things. I want to prioritize consumer goods factories. Give me more stability. We must be a stable nation. That's what we bring to the waste. Stability for the nation. Business favors. Subsidize them. Now we good. Now we do Benelli Landing. Where there's a whip, there's a way. Oh, that's because I selected it. That's right. The Chain Choir. Last Patrol. Or a Borrow to Clear One of the Drive Lowers. Mm. Now, can we get over here? No. We need Motorized Flight and Settler Air Tech. But we don't have Settler Air Tech. Vehicles. Industry, aircraft, we only have this one. We have tribal aircraft, so we're limited. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. Let's grab some more improvised tools. So I'm taking this campaign just a slightly slower than normal, just because this is my first campaign with Odo Blue 3.0. But General Lisa Moviala had sent another convoy to us. We will profit greatly from this friendship, although the General, or General Lisa Mo, is a prolific who, some would say, belongs in a cross. Perhaps there's still a use for him. Strange times make for strange friends. General Lisa Moviala sent a caravan to Flagstaff. Cool. What if we were to ru do, rustle some cowboys? Cowboy country is perhaps the most pitiful lands in the wasteland. Riding their scarce vehicles, bicycles, and giddy up buttercups to protect their vast Brahmin herds, they are better off under our heel. With Navajo instruction, we shall properly manage their herds and feed our empire. Yeah, we still got some slaves. But slaves are used through slaver decisions. Don't mind if we do. And Centurion Marian Marion is over there, so that's pretty good. Uh, since you guys are over here, you might as well help out, right? Oh yeah, and Tucson's is under us, so it's pretty easy to take these guys out. My goal for you guys is to drive right through there. And you should be able to do that pretty quickly using your speedy boys. Warden, declare one of the hanged... Oh, boy. Ooh, what do we want here? Heavy touch, commando, ninja. I'm going to put some recon on these guys probably eventually, so... The Malpius Legate. Ah, eh, get some smooth doctor, because we can. And maybe some more recon, because we can. Why not? Oh, you don't get that effect, because you're... Ah, my bad. I forgot he wasn't a field marshal. So let's make him a field marshal, then. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. So, let's see. What place is this? Poston. Ooh, dry wells. Construct bunkers. Use slaves to build roads. I like that. Slaves for the cause. Only 60% will return. Oh, that sounds pretty bad for you guys. But that's okay. What does that say? 3 to 50, what does that do? Invest stimulus in Flagstaff. Oh, add more development. Ooh, we might do that then. I like. I want more stimulus stuff. That sounds like fun. Actually, we should probably get, get, grab some more generals too. Uh, Primus Honoratus. Ave de Kaiser. Centurion Longinus. Cool. Idiot Savant, Mysterious Stranger, just more attack, that'd be great. Even Mole Divisions, don't mind if we do. Pollux. You are an infantry leader. Recon would be pretty good. Land out attack. Get some get some more awareness, because with the focus tree that we're going down, or the land doctrine, I should really say. We'll do pretty well. So we gotta wait till we, till we can get that. The State of the Legion, which we'll talk about. We could probably talk about that now, actually. The Rubicon, Sonora at Chihuahua, the Brahmin of the Bases of Wealth. Oh, the Ranchers, I should've went down that way faster. A new advisor, Ave, Ooh. must own former states of the ranchers to gain an effect. The most nourishing of all liquids. Ooh. Care for the grain supply. The 87th tribe. Oh man, Frumentari friends. We improve our communication technology to send volunteers to the 80s or sa savage slaves for our savage land. Ooh. There's a new cane as well. Let's go ahead and do something like 
you know what, let's go and do this one so we can get down to another war. Sonora at Chihuahua. Mexico's riches have been protected by the sleeping god Tlaloc for almost 200 years, but reports suggest he's growing old and feeble. Perhaps we can exploit this for our own benefit and open a wedge we can use to pour in that prosperous land. Yes, not guaranteed by anybody. They have remnants of the Arizona Rangers, which looks pretty good. Arizona's last bastion of liberty, kind of cool. Old world criminals, slaving dudes. And you have a pretty generic book street, but that's okay. Are the soldiers ready? Crush's armed to clear one Unity of Austin. We got some more soldiers ready to go as well, which is fine. Oh, do you have anything here? Inspirational. I have to do that one for more XP gain. Boom, let's go. Even though actually it might not be really worth it. Got to call in all of our allies. And do we have any planes? No, we don't. Nice. We should be able to just push straight on in without too many difficulties, but I could be wrong. All right, that stuff looks all super good. Seed selection. Land auction. Let's go with land auction. Forging. Ooh, 5% more approval population factor. Not bad. All right, looking pretty good so far. Work is needed, of course. And that's a little bit ahead of time still. So let's grab you. Seed selection. Muy bueno. Man, I want more slaves. Hmm. <laughs> 45% stability. Yeah, we should do one of these next. Or unless we got something else here that's really good. We should already check. We kind of can't do that much around here anyways. Here's an arranger. Well, we need nothing more profitable than good old care of Brahmin. Yeah, the stuff. Mother Shaman. Research speed's Okay. Nah. I'll probably go down here. Long is plus ill. Let's grab this guy. Or this business. Yeah. 1.22. How many men have we lost? 11 versus 700 some? 800 some? And they're about to capitulate too. The Hand Warband. Ah. Oh. Well, good luck with that, guys. Puerto Penasco. Thank you, cowboy country. I like the flag for two sons. I'm glad they updated it. Oh, they did. Nice. So, next up will be... The ranchers. The good old ranchers. Now, is there any waterway around here? Doesn't look like it. That's good. You guys. Good luck. That's all I'm going to say. Just good luck. Hmm... Cool. I'm going to grab you because Freeman's fixtures. Normally I go with... Oh, I guess I normally go with this one, actually. Oh no, weapons explosives. Navajo Smiths. I like that one. Let's go with that one. Better engineering. And Brahmin are the basis of wealth. The Bald... Baud Baudelio ranchers are amongst the most richest people on our borders, but they were constant or content on, to rely on Tlaloc for protection. Now that he is protecting them no longer, we can use their livestock to feed the legion. Cool. Earn some glory. Glorious, glorious. Maybe we should... How do we... Can we lower people's glory? That might be good. The Navajo are loyal, too. That's pretty good to have us, too. Don't want them to rebel. Launch a slave raid. Screw it. Ten signs. Horn Peak is right there. Eh, we're going to go to war with them anyways. Ten signs. Eh, if we got to do that, so be it. Mm, enemy states. Well, over here. And send... He's a level five. He's level four. The Luggett. Go ahead, Luggett. Well, no one's in there. Oh, yeah. They got two divisions now. We don't have any special forces, which is kind of not good. We'll see what happens. I do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm, though. And we have a little, uh, messenger. Black Staff can level up to level two. Ooh. We might not win that, but we'll just go to war anyways. Level 1, progress, promote the node. Development value, 7,500, not bad, I like that. Come on guys, go, 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 you can win this. It's only 5 divisions versus, well, technically 6v6. Maybe they won't win, but it won't matter since we go to war with them anyways. Send slaves, control bunkers, slaves to the cause. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely doing this one next. Hey, Hope is getting some good army XP. Oh, that's not bad. Come on, Legget, don't become inglorious. Not, don't lose glory. Just do the best job you can, though. Brahmins are the basis of wealth. 
Don't mind if we do. Now let's come back over here so we can core this area. The window to the sea. The Legion is finally gaining control over a port on the ocean. It is time to take advantage of that. Oh, yes. We could really use more generals to get right at least one more. Centurion Ant Antonius. Oh, he's really good on attack. Holy crud. Anything down there? Anything up there? Nope. Survivalists. Experience soldiers' losses. Let's do that one. Three. Two. One. We're not losing the border war. Not at all. A failed slave raid. Despite our best efforts, our future slaves fought off our recent expedition. Oh well, we can always try it again later. My bad. Mm, there you go. That's not enough money. Never enough money. How do I raid enemies? Oh, even our two sons, allies, are down in the bottom left of the screen are still trying to break over the river, too. They're using APCs. And I do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and toasty. I'm getting the heck out of Dodge. We all knew the calm couldn't last forever. We were roughly a third of the way to our goal when we encountered what we think are the ruins of Dodge City. Not only were we slow, slowed down by ruins of buildings that have crashed into the river, we also noticed several corpses hanging from the new, few intact bridges we crossed under. This put the guards already on edge, people mentioning spotting movement on the river sure didn't make it any better. Nothing happened for a while until a shot from a ruin took the head of a guard on the starboard side. The crew started to hunker down, guards went into cover and exchanged fire with an enemy they couldn't actually see. The captain put some strain on the engines to get out of the area as fast as we could. Faster. Calm beginnings. The first stretch of our journey has been rather calm so far. The weather is fine and we are making good time towards our goal on the Arkansas River. Though we barely left Federation land, so this is to be expected, and even beyond that, the influence of the last patrol can still be felt. Even if they are not as powerful as they once were, but soon we will travel into mostly unknown territory and who knows what will happen there. Uh, did someone do an event or something? Uh, is that us? Because Arkansas is right there if you look at this. That's West Louisiana. Nolens. Even though... Is that really West Louisiana? Is this all... I think part of this should be... Louisiana, but that's just me. Maybe I don't know my geography. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Who knows? I don't, obviously. Engineering? Eh, just grab some more research speed. We could use that because we're kind of not research savvy, we'll say. Not extremely research savvy. Lucius, anything else? We gotta go with Savage Leader. So, Pain Train or Strong Back? I might go with Strong Back just because I want more breakthrough. So, actually, you know, go Rooted. Go Rooted. There you go. That's much better. There you go. That'll help us out right now. Ooh, planning speed, max planning. Max planning might not be bad. Even be better division recovery rate. I don't mind life giver because I want to lower the amount of losses we take. Attack. 3% more attack or more recovery rate. Well, I think maybe maybe more attack. Infantry attack. Yeah, just do attack in general. Because I want us to hit the enemies as hard as we possibly can on the offensive. Defending will probably be okay, but we'll see what happens. And, of course, we'll get more manpower once we can core all this territory. Which I forgot I would do this. Militia, they'll be fine. Riders, or really enforcers. I'm not sure why we call it, so call them that, but we definitely need more infantry armor. And maybe we'll get some doggos, too. Riders. Not bad, not bad. The window to the sea? Ah, uh, don't mind if we do. Now, we could do the ultimate port, but we don't really need to focus on that. But, how about the Vaho Pathfinders? Ooh, not bad. IED training. So, we got that done. Now we gotta finish these guys off. Let's go and do Uniting the Wastes. To be more than a mighty war band, we must unite the people of Arizona and New Mexico. Let us begin with the restoration of a railway between Phoenix and Flagstaff. And maybe we might be interested in seeing what other areas can we take out before we must go to war with, like, the NCR and stuff like that. Oh, a peace deal. Matrons, Matrons was annexed. Texas is a wild thing. But I did ask you guys yesterday, what nations would you like to see more quickly on the channel than some others? Oh, well, even the cause is putting up a fight against the Washington Brotherhood. Crusher's Army's Annex. So, actually, that's a good time to talk about this. Some recommended that I play as Super Mutants in Texas. I'm considering that. Definitely considering that. Let's see. Some others also recommended that I play as Mojave Chapter in, obviously, the Mojave Desert. Because I've heard it's quite interesting and they have a very unique tree now. There's a lot of support, actually, for me to do that nation, as well as Twin Mothers, which I'm very interested, because who doesn't love Mama Diana? Mmm. Mmm. Give me that, Mama. But there's... Ooh, even more daily compliance gain. That's not bad, too. Tribute for Independence. So, someone... Rec actually, quite a few people recommended that one, as well as Mojave Chapter. Quite a bit of support for, actually, the Hangdogs. I played as them once with a generic focus tree, like I said yesterday. But, they do have a unique focus tree, so maybe I'll play as them soon. As well as the Texas Brotherhood. Someone recommended that, even though we leave the Alamo Chapter here... Led by, mmm, I like Catherine Torney. Not a huge focus tree, but Texas comes. 
and this time as a farce. Hmm. So maybe we'll play as the Alamo chapter, and yeah. Now, I was also thinking about the Houston Rockets, but we'll see. I eventually like, if you follow my channel at all, like I will eventually play every single nation in Old World Blues. I, I'm not gonna promise you that because I'm gonna miss a few nations because some of them just have generic focus trees and they're not like super exciting. But and but overall, I will eventually. So. See, selection local leader. Let's get local leader because we can. Cool. Let's go back over here. Let's grab some better training times. Nice. Now, I don't mind that we're just kind of generally attacking. We've only lost 53 guys. And honestly, resistance is probably taking up more of our manpower than the, the soldiers we're currently losing. So, not really too worried about it. Cool. Oh, look at this. Now, I did say I want to do this. Force two sons to adopt the Daenerys. Subsidize them. Ooh, maybe we want to send these guys. They've completed a new god for Utah. Well, white legs can be a valuable proxy for the Legion in Utah. With some assistance, however, they can reserve the right to refuse our aid as savages, and, which can always be fickle, if we do help them out. It's only 25 political power. Let's try it. He listens. He was kind enough to listen to our teachings and accept our offer of trade. Good for him, but better for us. A new field for combat. Nice. Oh, we have 99 political power, huh? Slave to the cause. Hmm. I guess we have to wait a little longer to do other stuff. Like, such as doing slave raids. So, also, I said yesterday that the video is going to be a little longer. Like, the first video. It wasn't that much longer, so I'm, I'm going to definitely push this video quite a bit longer than normal. How many slaves do we have? Hmm. We've got enough. Screw it. More roads. Oh, look at all this. What the heck? Chop shop. How do you get... Oh. They're all the way over here, huh? 50 opinion with a chop shop. Choctaw Nation. And test gunners and gunners expansion. We need more money. Cool. N new citizen care package. Whoa, that looks actually... Re that's really cool. You give them a care package? We just can't crucify them? Come on. What? Cool. And let's come down here. And let's go ahead and do Force Two Sons to Adopt the Denarius. They're going to be with us. You have to adopt what we want. And before we see anything else, I want to see if we can take out the Tohono Nation. Toho no. Nope. Toho no. That's how you spell it, right? Cool. That means this is a group that we're going to justify on. And this is the group that we can start working towards integrating and we'll never have a problem with once we kill them off. So, hopefully at least. Oh, we need, oh my goodness, we need so much more political power. Oh, we just used all of ours. Oh, that's my bad. Whoopsie. Let's see, nothing more profitable than a good care of Brahmin. Let's go ahead and do that just so we can get cores on the territory. We've conquered the ranchers, but we aren't savages. This land will prosper under Pax Romana. Absolutely, as we're building up our industry more, 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 more. Oh, we could definitely build stuff here. And build around Flagstaff. We're going to act as if Flagstaff is our Rome. And then start building around this. And expand the roads out. Especially to Hoover Dam. Which would be probably pretty good to do eventually. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Well that's not good. We're probably going to need more money later on. Oh, North Phoenix. Oh, yeah, go ahead and expand it. Yes, please. Promote the node. Level 5. Cool. I don't fully understand it still, but you know what? I'm not really too worried about it because eventually I will. And actually, since you guys are still here, probably not all of you are doing that. That's fine. 6% so attrition, that's totally fine with me. Nice. Four more political power. So basically, we need 50 ish. There we go. Texan Brotherhood declared war on the Carthaginian gang. Cool. Makes sense. Try the most nourishing of all liquids. Care for the grain supply. Ooh, the Republic of Las Granjas core territories. Oh my goodness, I love going to war. We get the Titanomaki, or Titanomaki. The most nourishing of all liquids. Let the prolificates drink their alcohol and drugs. The Legion knows that milk is the most nourishing of all liquids and is the beverage of an empire. Proper application of the great Kaisal's teachings will promote a dairy industry for export to neighbors, such as Genta del Sol, as Kaisal learned from the writings of old Cicero. And we get some very white milk. 
or actually, white milk, no, white water, because that gave us six more water. Make of it what you will, I'll say it, and put it like that. Regardless, let's look at our spe special forces. Prime Legionnaires, only eight combat with, that's not good enough. Ooh. Oh, yes, take them out. Take those degenerates out. Yeah, let's go back that way. 20 combat width is what we like. Demo. Do we have enough of demo equipment? Yes, we do. We do have enough recon. Actually, that's going to be good to put on them just because they don't get recon like our infantry will, so. And I really want to make sure those guys are really, really good. Legion motors? Not bad. They don't have any armor on them yet. If we do that, we have enough. We don't have enough for that, which means demos. You know what? Throw, on, throw that on there first. That's fine with me. Are we making chariots? Oh, please give me those chariots. No, we're not. We're not. We do not have chariots. We gotta research bicycles. Oh my goodness. What a shame. What an absolute shame. Resistors. I love resistors. Happy 2276, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Let's grab some local workspaces. Cool. Let's get rid of that. And are we still in a deficit? We are. Oh my goodness. We don't have... I want slaves. Oh, slave raid. Begin planning a... Hmm. Ultimo. Now, oh well, Angenta del Sol. Oro, Oro. And we're already here in Oro. Gila. My bias like it. Centurion Pollux. Go ahead. You guys are still training. You guys should do okay. You're, they're only using infantry though, which is not great. The most nourishing of all liquids. Foraging, great. And to do this, do we have to do Republic of the Real Grand, where the most following must be true? Oh, that's to be subject of another country. Okay, so we have to wait for that one. God dang it. So be it. Susan's Railway. You know what we're going to do, just in case. We're going to go State of the Legion. Pax Barbellum is the motto of the Legion, but while it is a deadliest force of the waste, there's always room for improvement. Despite what the Legion claims, its reliance upon the tribal levies is a weakness, not a strength in some ways. But make no mistake, while there may be some room for improvement, it is more than a match for any of the degenerates of the waste. Absolutely. Let's grab improved or improvised obstruction. Which did they update these images? I think they updated these. That's really cool. That's actually really really cool. Oh, we found one enemy here. Okay, so be it. Oh, they threw in a few more enemies. Oh, that's not good. Father, tribe, father, mutant hunter. Warrior training is great. We got to go with that way, but it's a little too early for us to do that. Vehicles. Let's grab some scrap motorcycles since I'm actually using motorcycles. Surprise, surprise. Come on, Luggett. Don't disappoint us. Traders from Hawaii. Far to our west, past the hulking wrecks of oil rigs and minor military islands, lies the Isles of Hawaii. Once, according to a book we once found at least, these islands were also part of America and the home of the Pacific American fleet. By 2077, though, the Pacific Fleet was a vast collection of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, destroyers, and missile boats. Most of the fleet was imported at the start of the Great War, and was wrecked by the multitude of Chinese nuclear missiles that hit the port. The tribes of this Hawaii now make a living scrapping advanced components of the countless rocks, trading for weapons and food with settlements up and down the west coast. This morning, a cluster of native traders from Hawaii arrived out in ports, offering a plethora of rare goods for a price. It's an opportunity we won't get for some time. Come tell us your war stories from your homeland, lose money or support manpower, Turn them away. Buy some of their exotic goods for our people. Oh, I want more political power, manpower. Ooh, I like more stability. We don't have the money for this, though. And it's only 25 political power. Tell us your war stories, then. I don't want to spend that much money on them. Come on. Come on, like it. You gotta get some more glory. I mean, you're learning more, getting more experience, but, you know, still. And it helps if we actually do our land doctrine. So, that always helps. Hmm. Subsidized, going to get paid soon. Oh, has long wage campaigns for Kaiser in the West, conquering vast swaths of territory up and down the Colorado River. One barrier stands above all, however, the Hoover Dam. Malpais is determined to conquer it if for a legion. It will abort if the dam owners at war with us. If not completed, the bridge across the divide. Oh boy. Get some description. That'd be nice. It's only 23 days. Holy cow, that's really nice. So, getting some more experience. Great. Now, going to war with these guys is going to take quite a while. Shells are to clear one loss. Good luck with that. Actually, where is this? Mapping. Oh, we probably should go mapping the dam. We should probably do this stuff next just in case because we're going to have a timer for this. So, oh, don't let time go on. Cool. 
So, damn. Fortress of the Legion. Fortress Arizona. That's kind of cool. The Legate's Glory. I've earned some glory to proceed. No, I don't want to go that down that way. Huh, oh, 10% attack bonus. Malpais Legate. Well, that's okay. I'll find a way to figure out how to get down here. The AT Rifle Mastery. Battle of Hoover Dam. Ooh, auxiliaries. And the Commonwealth, of course, down there. Cool. The Ultimo Trade. Generally, Simo Viala, Viala requests the right to buy Ultimo from us. Although we will lose our outlet on the Pacific, they're offering quite a bit of money. Is that Ultimo right there? The only coastline we need is new, in New California. Why would we ever do this? Ooh. We already have him as cores, except Frumentari. This is the weird interaction we have with Kaiser's Legion and uh, Genta del Sol. Somebody plays them, except Frumentari. Ooh, leg legionary tributes. Also, the, the, the ultimate team of protection. No, Agles. Huh. I'm not really sure. No, Agles. They probably want it. they want this territory. Mm, no, they're not going to be our puppet, so I'm going to say no. Uh, let's go and map out the dam just in case. The Rubicon. One of our Frumentarius has found a place across the river deep and wide. A span where steel and water did collide. A town called Boulder on the wild Colorado. Nice. Come on, Luggett. Landis co cohort is just going to town on everyone. Mojave territory is going to the Mojave Brotherhood. Good luck. Did you over They instantly lost. Helios won. Wow. Is that supposed to happen? Ooh, North Phoenix, yes. Don't mind if we do. Nice. Alright, anything here? Outside battalions, maybe. Ooh, Legate Lannis, Monster of the East. Less damage garrisons, more non core manpower, better division organization. The Legate, 15%. No, I'm not even going to question that right now. We actually need him to do well right now with that stuff. But if he's attacking, he's probably learning more, which is pretty good to code. Good, good, good. Let's get some encryption. That'd be pretty bueno to do. We are slowly running out of manpower, though. And see how to clear one. Oh, they actually go to war with the Divide, huh? Oh! The Siege of Hidden Valley? Well, there goes those guys. I didn't realize that th this was reworked. I thought they still had the whole barrier here, but they have a lot less barrier to deal with. Oh, the Fiends are here, too. Okay. Interesting. Could get more stability. We're doing pretty well. Let's see. Crossing the Rubicon. The Broken Boulder. What does that one say? Without too much damage, perhaps we can study its layout to see if it's during our offensive. Mapping the dam. Kimball, Kaiza, House, you'd think their whole world was that wall cutting the Colorado if it if I'd never lays on it, laid eyes on it, never spoke of it. We gotta map out the dam, the broken boulder. Look at look at that smiley face. Look at that. Hmm. When you launch a board war for Boulder City, you get 10% attack. When you launch a board war for the dam, you get 10% attack. I think I want to get 10% more attack for the dam, just because I think it'd be better. I mean, going to war for Boulder. Oh, wait, Boulder City's right there. Oh! I thought, for some reason, I thought a successful slave raid. Great! You get more slaves. I thought, for some reason, I thought Boulder was down here. My bad. I played this mod way too much that I should know that. That's okay, though. I think, dude, we did pretty darn well there. Go ahead and return your divisions here. Thank you. And Field Marshal it up. Lug it. Hope you learned stuff. Hope you learned plenty of stuff. And district support is gone. Ooh. The Secret Meatloaf. Recently we've been heard of a man who goes by the simple moniker T. He claims to be far from a faraway land we cannot find on any old world maps. We pointed out from his description an ancient country of great warriors called Sweden, but it seems that this is not from where the mysterious T hails, judging by his extremely irritated expression. Regardless, the ghoul brings a secret with him. The best god dang homemade meatloaf recipe we've ever tasted and he wants to share. Our best grub grifters have adopted the famous recipe all throughout the country. Recently, groups have been mating pilgrimage pilgrimages to even distant lands of foreign and exotic gods just to have a taste. I, here he writes as well. Swiss sauce. Caravan ambush. A trade caravan delivering goods between settlements near North Phoenix has been brutally ambushed. Not only did the brigands or brigaders hold up the Brahmin, they slaughtered everyone as well. Guards are apprehensive to accompany more caravans, and merchants do not want to lose more goods. A pursuit may steady their minds, but the blood has already been dried. Nothing can be done now. Uh, caravan's under threat for 30 days versus 100 days. Now go with this. We're gonna go into pursuit. To hell with those guys. You do this, we crush you violently. Let's get some motorcycles. Oh, we want some gliders. I want, we need more, hmm. 
I want a lot of things. Let's go ahead and do that. You can get up to two. We'll get up to two and go to two. Go down to ten. There you go. We got plenty down here, so that's fine. And go back up to ten for this. And slide collars. We could probably use a few more. Come down here. Let time go on. Switch out to riders for now. Because we, we, we will have to switch eventually back to militia once we can start conquering a lot of land. But we'll, we got, we've got time. We've got time. Navajo warriors sound really cool, though. Slaves to the cause. Oro Valley must not be a core. Oh, well, maybe we should enslave people and then core them. Oh, what do we got? We got some more technology done. Ooh, spec ops. Not bad. Research speed. We can wait over here. Grab some more construction speed. The NCR strengthened its supply lines. It appears that the bear has eaten two more towns, Ashton and Hopewell. This will improve the NCR's access to the Mojave, and we'll have to figure out some way to divide their supply lines. Yeah, probably. We still have a year left for that, so it's fine. Ooh, quarterly, ooh, quarterly expenses, balances. Oh, man. We need to get, make more money. Maybe we should stop making so many divisions. Maybe we should expand more, though. Hmm. How many more days do we have to wait to go to war these guys? Rats. Mole rats have invested the underbelly of Flagstaff. We aren't sure how they made their nest undetected, but at least six people have been partially eaten so far. Partially eaten? Only a man named Jeremy has died so far, though. Despite being a banker, his death has caused an outcry. People are leaving. Where are raiders when you need them? Mole rat damage. Well, that sucks. I oh, still got quite a while for those guys. That's fine with me. Mapping the dam. It's good to get this stuff done now. The Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, the Mojave chapter doesn't exist. We can't do that one. If you want to read about this, go right ahead. Oh, look at all this stuff. Diplomacy with the Navajo. Ideas. Industry. 44 focuses. Manpower. Path of Kaiser. Lucius. Mapias. Oh, what does he say? The way of the land. Dealing with those guys. We can't expect Maz to do all the work. Hopefully in the end we get a decision which way we want to go. In need of a miracle. Garage. Caches. And then it. There because. We might want to rush down here just in case before the timer's up. Because we don't know when Kaiser might go bye-bye. So I want to make sure we actually go down that pathway as best we can. But unfair advantage just to see what happens because I want to get to the dam. And then we'll go with the Malpais like it. The Mojave expedition simply cannot control all of its territory. Leaving it vulnerable to raids. Which is not our problem of course. Good. Actually, how do you even play as this country? Ah, uh, General Lee Oliver. Hmm. Tree of New Vegas. Pacification, not emancipation. Not a bad idea. Skimping on New Vegas Treaty. <laughs> good. Great Con Raids. That's not good. Father's Influence, of course. Make our final preparations. I... God, I love Old World Blues. Really do. Even though I didn't get early access to 3.0, I still love the mod. Still love it quite a bit. Slaves to the cause. Ooh, we could launch a slave right. Who, who can we do it against? Let's see, Mopassan. You might as well do it again, right? Might as well do it again. Because I, I just want to beat him up. I want the Luggage to do well. Go ahead. Oh, what happened to our other army? Oh, you're actually using! Wow! This is weird. They almost always use infantry, but now we're actually using the special forces which I gave the Luggage. Thank you! You even got rid of the general, but whatever. That's okay with me. So down here, I want to get more stability, which I probably should. But, chariots of those guys, missile labs, welcome to the silversmiths, that'd be good, code talkers, I like that, Navajo Nation soldiers, ooh, reservation, trade with the reservation might be pretty good, managing our subjects, now we good, mm, we did one last time, let's see, speed demon, I just, ah, there's not enough down here, political power gain, we could probably use that too, research speed's okay, you know what, we could do that one, and I'm going to do that one, just because, there's, out of everyone here, there's not much. I'm not going to do it, Lucius, because I don't want more intellectual support for now. We could get more people support, but you guys want the legate, so we're not going to do him. So we can probably do Mother Shaman. If we're going to get this guy now, or Sheriff Carmine, 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 we might as well get him now. You know, we might as well get that political power, which will last us all campaign. So, come on, legate, you're doing a great job. We got plenty of XP too. If that's the case, I'm actually going to start cutting down on this a little bit more, because it costs us more and more for every battalion we make. So, you know, do I, two is, might not be enough, but I'm just worried about money. Just a little worried. We'll be doing okay. Unfair advantage. If we conquer more, we'll get more money, too. So, actually, screw it. I should not do that. There you go, two more. The unfair advantage. Colorado Blues. Raider Rumbles. The Fiend's Resurgence. Or Tear Up Their Roads. Uh, we'll do Raider Rumble. 
The games of the Mojave are a diverse and degenerate culture, inclusive of vipers, a collection of ne'er do wells. Dug in close to major roads of rob and plunder, trousers of merchant caravans, the scorpions who hang out at Monte Carlo when they aren't slinging chems or getting their heads blown off by the fiends. And of course, the fiends, a pack of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every drug, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this effed up earth. If we give them equipment and firearms with luck, they'll find purpose killing the Mojave Territory soldiers. And that's exactly what we want. So which way is, or are these guys going? Oh, are you guys struggling? Can I help you guys out? We're at peace. A successful slave raid? I think so. Kick from faction? We good. Do you need equipment? You got a little bit of manpower. You got quite a few divisions. Timekeepers were annexed. Uh, they got a good amount of equipment. You guys are just struggling. Then again, I mean, I think I would be struggling here too. Actually, how much are they struggling? Oh, they're not doing that bad. These areas are core. Nice, right? Yeah, it's a core state. Not bad, not bad. Hmm, the power plant. I'm going to have to fight over that dirt. That watery dirt. Hmm, I'm thinking we might get some more stability next. Yeah. Go and lower research speed. I don't want to lower anything else. Resource wise, we're looking great. Even building up some roads, maybe eventually. Local workspaces, not bad. Get some basic tools. Muy bueno. Very good stuff. Get some over here. That's good. Ooh, there you go. And there you go. A uh, volatile shack market. A new profession seems to have appeared recently in the wasteland. People who call themselves realtors keep trying to buy and sell shacks for no apparent reason. This has caused some slight instability in the region, but we think it is an easy way to part some peasants with their legion denariuses. Cha-ching. 481 days to get country base node income. Maybe an oversight is wise. Some oversight. Unregulated? Well, I'm going to say we're going to need some a little bit of regulation. Because even though we're out of money... Minus plus five. That's plus five percent. Let's go with that. Uh, so, Rag Stag Candle Shop. In the quaint outskirts of North Phoenix, a mom and pop shop has made quite a splash. Rag Tag Talos candles they sell scented with the best pulverized floater teeth. Some say it smells like raspberry with a hint of bergamot. Others can only detect faint amounts of doom. Either way, business is booming, thankfully. Uh, these new business owners pay their taxes. We should even buy a few. Some of our advisors could do with some relaxing candles, especially Jeremy. Our people are doing well. We'll take 40 cases. Lose money, get 1% stability. We'll grab this one. This other one's only 10 days longer, so. Slaves? Actually, how much How much longer? Please, I, I want to go to war. I'll, one more time. Led by Quentin Lopez. Oh, come on. I, why does it take so long? Why does it take so long? Why do you hurt me so? It's fine. Rado Rumble. So now, oh, we could go down there, but we'll come back and I'll get the all pies to get some more glory first. So, we gotta go weigh the land. We also should go down Garage Caches. Which way do we go first? Navajo Rail. The Two Suns Rail. Regional Connections. More money and political power. The Phoenix Feathers. Renovatio. This one lock away for Aurelius or Volpus to gain glory. Well, we probably don't want that. We lose two sons in need of a miracle. I kind of want to help out the Navajo Nation a little bit more. So let's go to Navajo Rail. The Navajo are some of the most prosperous people of the Waste, but they've used their distance to stay apart from the Legion. Building roads to new Navajo will fix that. And then maybe we'll finish off on one thing I've been keeping in mind. Build some roads. This can... Ooh, actually... Wilkie up Prescott. Where's Prescott? Twin mothers and the forgers. Oh, they actually went to war. There's Prescott. Build some roads... Throw in a civilian workshop. We're gonna expand out from there. And money wise, seventeen thousand per quarter. Or really seventeen. Cool. Oh, and you guys are doing okay. Play working. Cool. We can go with that one. We're gonna wait a little bit. Air stuff. We can't go that way. Balloons. Those are okay. We, we should probably do some of this stuff as well. Land auction. We're doing well on. Robotics. We can't do. That stuff is okay. We should probably do some of this stuff. Let's get some dogs first. We have the army XP for it, so we might as well. And then... Oh, we... Oh, from Atari. Cool. We might just keep that name. Someone did recommend a couple names here. Ooh. Hmm. For, I think for now, Wasteland Tactics. Ooh, I like... I really like Wasteland Tactics. Resistance Growth Speed minus 50%. Jesus, that's so good. 20% army breakthrough. Oh my goodness, please don't tease me with a good time. 8% more soft attack and walking infantry. 
10% breakthroughs, 5% soft attack, and 10% heart attack. But ancient tactics, less population, of course, decimation makes sense. 15% breakthrough, which is still pretty darn good. Walking infantry, more defense, more special forces. Growth speed in our territory, even more breakthrough. Oh my goodness, don't tease me. Oh boy. It looks like actually they don't get any recon on this side. So let's go with ancient tactics. Recruitable population goes down, but whatever. It's a necessary evil. It helps keep discipline in the, in the ranks. Navajo Rail. And then we shall do which one we chose. So actually, between these two, Gator Maws, cool. Uh, there was overwhelming support for Rebirth of the Principate's Doctrine. Instead of herding unskilled warriors to the front, perhaps we can train them all and mix our forces. The youths can learn from the elders instead of dying before they gain training. But that is going to conclude today's episode, my friends. If you enjoyed it, consider maybe leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we go to war with Yuma, or really the Tohono Nation, and hopefully maybe even get to a potential conflict with the NCR. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.